We're here at the uh, Dallas, they call it Dallas RV Show, but it's actually um, in, Arlington. in Arlington at Cowboy Stadium. And uh, we know some of the Brinkley crews here, uh, Nate, Brendan, Eric, a few of those guys. So we're gonna go in and check it all out and maybe get a tour of the new 3250, which I didn't even know existed. Yeah. I didn't know it existed until I saw it pop up on the G page. So we wanted to come check that out. And um, we're also gonna see if we can see the, the two Z Air versions and we'll share that with you. So let's run inside, ready? Yeah, let's go. That. Yeah. Get amongst the slice of Texas where the mountains meet the desert with the most beautiful golf of course in Texas thrown in. Explore Big Bend, the crown jewel of Texas. Yeah, oh, there's a step. There's a step. This is just Hi. Get out of the way. What? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? We know him. We do. All right. Hey, everybody. All right. So um, we're talking about the chassis on the new 3250. Uh, so basically, what we did, we took the. 3950 chassis that we already have tested proven out same front end and uh, we actually hired a tenured lipper engineer um, great dude he uh, I think he was with them well basically out of college maybe 10 years 11 years and so Brock helped us with this design a ton but if you look under what we did we took a tube and we actually stacked it on the inside of the I-beam and then we welded this chassis tube all the way up into the inside of the chassis so it didn't affect tank placement or anything it gave us great structure and support and this back end is only um it's only about six feet five and a five feet five inches so um but what it allowed us to do is actually drop the back end down so uh, instead of being like you are in the main living area on top of the i-beam yeah you actually step down about eight inches, which is neat because it enabled us to add shoe storage, uh, bring the cabinets down. You know, being a small uh, like space, we got rid of the dovetails so you're not tripping on it. So it's just a flat surface coming out. And what the goal was on this back end was to have a very kind of social outdoor kitchen-esque feel. Um, but then we're thinking, man, you know, you could also use it as a mudroom because on a rainy day, you're not coming into the living room then. You could leave your shoes back here. You put coat hooks behind the door. Um, Jackie would enjoy the no dirt in the- <laughs> yeah. No dirt in the living room. In the living room. Oh, yeah. She's always swiffering. And then we thought, well, heck, I mean, we could put a desk back here. Somebody could use it as a workspace. You know, we hear from customers a lot of times that they, you know, you wanna have two people on a team's call or you need somewhere to go private. And that was kind of the thought process. We. We left the loft in there so you have uh, a little bit of sleeping or storage. Um, the other neat thing that we did though is we actually put a ton of lighting back there. So if yeah, you are using it as an office, you can see. Um, and we left it uh, with a third AC and triple heat pump. So if you are back here, you have a ton of cold air. Uh, you can also see the heat vents coming out yes. under the cabinets. Um, secret, nobody knows. Uh, that style on the bottom is actually plastic so if you ever get a bunch of water in there or anything it's not going to hurt the cabinet at all it's it made to be it won't swell up won't yeah. swell up yeah yep so yeah that's all right well let's we uh thinking. let's walk through the inside and see okay. what you think uh turns and then um this is a new bracket we've been playing with and it actually locks in oh. and then you release it oh look at that what I don't like about it is you kind of have to grab the TV. You see all the fingerprints? Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to put a handle on here. Okay. So then you don't have to touch the TV, but then you can just turn it. Very nice. So these are all adjustable shelves like we normally do. Love it. Yep. Uh, pull out trash. Always love a trash can. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah, a little same, sponge storage. Same shelf. Uh, this will have a travel lock. You can see we forgot it. Uh, that was nice. So, but nice drawers. Um, little storage over here. This is actually access to your um, air compressor hose reel. Okay. So if you ever have to get to it or service okay. it, we can just pop right in there and get to it. So, yeah, nice big window. Uh, we put a lot of lighting under here. And then this backsplash is just like you would have in the house normally. So, shoe tray under here. For all your wet shoes. They're those coat hooks. We just got these in. These are pretty slick. That is slick. Oh. So they're magnetic. And if you, leave them, nice. if you leave them down and close the door, Oh, door. okay. Yep. Very cool. Yeah, so, uh, we move the controls over here, just so you're not looking at them. Mm -hmm. But that's all your garage controls, stereo, mm -hmm. everything. Uh, one neat thing back there, too, if you want to look back, you have the three season, too. So, okay. if, it, if it rains, you can close that up. And I think it'd actually be a really nice, cool place to work. Yeah. So. Yeah, so especially since it has this dedicated AC back there yes. and heat pump. It's like yeah. a, uh, and it's just straight ducted in. Uh, I mean, no, like just well, like dump. Actually, no, we ducted it they like ducted we do normally. Us. It's just on its own zone back here. Oh yeah, here. I see. Yep. And so it's ducted for the loft and this area here. Mm -hmm. Yep. Very cool. Yeah. So um, and then you know from here forward, it's it's our thirty nine fifty, which has been. A huge hit for us. Um, the neat thing about this, which we're calling the 3250, um, this thing is only 36 feet 11 inches. What? So, so it is shorty. Yeah. Is so, that uh, state park approved? Probably? I would say. Yeah. I think so. I mean, yeah. a lot of people like to be around 35, but in uh, a big unit like this, that's really hard. This is is very short though. I mean, uh, it's still, it's about the weight of a 3500 because you still have, I mean, these slides are massive, they're tall, we have a ton of storage, um, but. And there's actually, uh, it comes with the, what do they call that one, the desk? Well, Josh Winters dubbed it the Dynesk, which Dynesk. is actually something that is uh, grown, but um, the neat thing about this floor plan and, and why it took us so long to develop is a lot of times in haulers you have a lot of sleeping but you don't have a lot of seating and this has seating so you know for us we have a big family mm -hmm. um you know there's six of us and so on a rainy day something like this is clutch for us yeah. and then you know you can run the sofa in uh we have what what's called a small u position where this retracts in you have bar stools here and then this desk actually pulls out and you can have four people eating Oh wow! Um, Once so you, you can eat. actually ha you can sleep six, you can sit six, you can have six people eating, uh, which is something we've never been able to do in a hauler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so I know I know y'all spent, spent awesome. some time working. So I know y'all spent some time working on the design of this. Yeah. For easy, you know, for travel days. I know there were yep. some concerns that it was mm -hmm. not necessarily going to be easy. Uh, the tough part about it is we were really trying not to compromise at all. Um, and what I mean by that is I wanted to be able to get to the fridge in travel mode. Mm -hmm. So with this thing all folded up, both slides in, you have uh, 11 inches, which I can tell you because I've done it like 20 times now. Uh, you can slide through and you okay. can get to the fridge. Um, and with, you know, for us with a ton of kids, that's pretty key. So... Um, awesome. Everything else, bathroom and all that's the same as the yeah. as the 39. Yeah, which is which honestly I love so much because if you look at a lot of L sofa models or units that this will compete with or you know people are looking at, when you go up front, it you know maybe the bed will go to a north south. Mm -hmm. You go to a super small pass through storage mm -hmm. because they what they do is they crunch the front to get more floor space down here. Right. And we didn't do that. I mean right. that th this has the same front end as a thirty five hundred or four thousand. So okay. you know the three big Mori drawers outside, the flip doors, all the stuff. So yeah. And there's more windows on this side, like in the thirty five hundred. The yeah, minimal, yeah we have minimal. the sink we have a sink window and we have a stove window right there that's it yeah. 
But yeah. it looks more even because you got the big bay window there, another big bay window here. And talk about these uh, screens, Nate. Yeah. So tell me about the uh, tell me about the screens that you guys. Play. Okay, so um, if anybody follows us on Facebook, you probably saw that we were getting a few complaints about holes around the um, strings. Now we we did go to like a smaller hole, but you can see they're still there. Yeah. So what we've added is a secondary screen. The nice thing about them is they're removable. So if you're not going to use them, you can just pop them out. But on all your opening windows, we're putting them on now. So, so you don't awesome. have to worry about no CMs or bugs coming through your screen hole. No CMs. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what did you add in there? So uh, we normally have the hidden storage uh, in here. Like there's your breaker box mm -hmm. and your fuses. Uh, this one opens too. Wow, it's um, massive. Yeah, and it's it's deeper than it is on the 3500 4000. Mm -hmm. um, but then up here, we have a wire chase coming down. So if you want to put a game system up there, uh, you can run your HDMI's down, power, and it's deep enough to actually. That just keeps people like me from having to drill a hole through the top of it. Exactly, but you're <laughs> capable, so that's good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this is actually going to go to a glass front mini oh, wow. fridge. Okay. It's not as wide. It's taller. Um, this sink's moving over three inches, and then this is going to go from uh, 18 to 21 inches, which okay. is the ideal yeah. workspace if you're going to put monitors. Mm -hmm. um, like if you're going to sit there with a laptop, 18 inches is plenty. Right. But if you lay out a tape measure, 21, and you're with monitors, you're home free. So, so what were you saying about the length changing as well? Okay, so we're gonna add a foot. So, yeah. um, we wanted to kind of spread things out on the door side, a little bigger awning, mm -hmm. and it gives us room to actually have the door open up all the way. Um, and then down in the corner where your cord reel is, we were able to spread things out. Um, but then, like Alan and I were just talking, you know, if you're in a campground where you can't get this door down. And let's say you you know need to come back here every day for a week and work. Mm -hmm. I just thought, man, having an extra foot of just elbow room with everything closed sure. up, it's gonna feel nice. And yeah. being that you have dedicated heat and AC back here, we already have a ton of lighting. I just wanted it to be a nice workspace. And then the other thing that's gonna make it feel better, uh, we're adding a window to that door. So then, uh, you know, we'll open that side up too, just like we do on a normal entrance door. Okay. So, uh, typically on the garage doors, we don't put a window for security, so somebody can't just break sure. in and get to your stuff. But what about the countertop type? Is it going to remain a solid countertop? It'll remain. It... It'll remain solid. Um, the other thing we're doing, and we got to mock this up next week, but. Um, this is actually going to be able to be raised and lowered. So um, right now it's at 36 inches, which is a good standing height for most people okay. if they're working. Uh, but you'll actually be able to lower the desk to 31 inches, a normal desk height. Um, like so you don't you feel like have. you're at the kids' table with your chair. Yeah, exactly. You're sitting there. Yeah, yeah. yeah like Got that. it. Mm -hmm. It should be really nice. I'm excited about it. All right, so which one is this one, Eric? All right, so this is a 295, so it's 34 and some change and overall length, um, double awnings. So this is gonna be geared towards more of your families. Um, this is your rear double over double uh, bunkhouse floor plan. What are you guys doing? So a few differences in this bedroom as opposed to what we were just in. No fireplace in here. And then you also don't have the ability to put a stackable washer dryer oh, okay. uh, in this particular floor plan. Everything else stays but the everything same. Everything else stays the same. Yep. So you still got your queen bed. Mm -hmm. You don't have your hidden storage underneath. What? You have your... That has a lot of space under there. Yeah. Still. And that's a table of some sort, I guess. That's your table for your dinette table out here, and I'll kind of show you how that works here in a minute. Same bathroom setup. Yep. Same pass through. Still passes through. 
What's funny so, is yeah, what's just, funny is I just left the bathroom and I had the urge to step down. Step down. <laughs> to step down. Yeah, I'm so used, used to, to doing that, that, aren't you? Yeah. So this is a single slide, not a double slide, right? So here's your. Yeah. I do like this. Yeah. yeah. So there's your quad theater seats. Yeah. This bracket here is for that table that you just saw. There's this a. Bracket. Yep. There's a uh, pedestal in here that comes out, mounts into there. Your table mounts to the pedestal, and that oh, becomes cool. your dinette table. Yeah, and then it also comes with bar stools as well. So if you have, you know, yeah. kids as well, you just can utilize the bar stool table and the island over here. And then this is on a swing arm, so trust me, we heard multiple times when we first came out with this, you know, from pictures, they thought this was just a fixed TV, but you can actually rotate this out. And, nice. You know, give it a better viewing angle, especially from your primary seating area. Very so. nice. All right, and then you still got your pantry. Very nice. Cool. And then uh, and here's the you plus. Get your balloon style doors. Yep. Oh, this has the little. It's a bunkhouse. Yeah. Bunkhouse, bunk beds. I think I might have said this is a single. This is a double slide unit. It's just you, you don't have your traditional mm -hmm. dinette slide like you saw on gotcha. the 285. Yeah. yeah. But I love this counter space. Yeah, so still plenty of storage, um, plenty of countertop space. Still double trash can. Flush floor slides on both your galley and dinette slide, um, which is a huge plus. Just a big drawer. Ah. Cool. cool. So cool. that's that's and what number is this one? This is the two ninety five. Well, and, the, and the other one was uh, two eighty five. Two eighty five. Yep. Well, thanks for showing both of us. You're welcome. Yeah. Cool. All this extra storage uh, in the rear as well. And then you got these, this bulkhead door here. So if you wanted to create a separation. Oh, yeah. Right yeah. Very cool. Next a magnet. You can put all your dirty chairs and stuff in this section. That's right. Yeah. Right. Tons of storage. You still have power. You have light. Lots um, of power. There's power plugs all mm -hmm. over the place. And this is a 30 amp rig? 50 amp. 50. 50 amp. 50 amp. Wow. Yep. 285. 285. Yep, brand new couples coach. So again, utilizing a, you know, this Ooh. extra cool little space for your home office or very cool little desk and drawer there. Nice. And then you can use that as an automatic as a seat. And then this actually goes over there. And then this dinette table actually collapses down. Does this make a bed? Yes. It goes oh, all the way cool. down. So there's a flange on this side, a flange on, on the ottoman. Yeah. And it sits on there, and then we got cushions underneath there that lay over that, and that becomes your bed. Cool. Yeah. That's for when your friends have had too many and they ask to stay over. That's right. <laughs> yeah. But tons of storage, too. You know, you got pantry, pantry, overhead storage, plus you got your hutch and your additional pantry over there with your appliance outlet inside. What's that pass through for? So that is your conduit, your PVC that roof. runs for your aftermarket wiring. Cool. Yep. Elevator. Oh yeah. So a lot of carryover, you know, with what we do in the in the Z lineup right now, you're gonna see a lot of similarities. So you have your fully functional, your televator, your picture window. And the bedroom is cool, you gotta check that out. So this is our one and only travel trailer right now that comes washer dryer prepped. So we have two floor plans right now in our Z Air lineup. So this whole contraption here actually comes out if you wanted to put a oh, wow. stackable washer dryer in there. Very cool. Yeah. And then if not, you got the full access through the bathroom into this closet area as well. Okay. And then you got your fireplace, which Adds a nice little ambience in here, plus it's free heat if you guys are connected and really do a good job of warming this, this room up. It looks like... Oh, this one has the safe. It has the what? The safe uh, under the bed. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> nice. It's like a, it's Voila. Like a, and it has a lock. What would you put in there? Hmm? What would you put in there? <laughs> 
our gold bra, our gold bars. We oh, have. Yeah, okay. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you're, no. you're, uh, All your bullion. Yeah, your lottery winnings the other day, right? The yeah. one million dollars. Well, you got too. Uh, those are just seats if you want to sit down and put socks on, put your shoes oh, on, whatever. Okay. Yep. Flex space. And then you got enough room in both of these cubbies here for a CPAP machine if you have one of those. Plug in there yep, you got plugs on both sides. Nice. So this USB, is USB. a queen or king? Uh, this is a queen. Queen. Yep. That is the only okay. uh, bed size you can get on our floor plan. It's okay. the only bed size you need in an RV, really. Yeah. You don't RV with somebody you don't like enough, you need a good <laughs> joint. Yeah. Then you got dimmer switches in the bedroom, yeah. plus the living room. Oh, and y'all got digital thermostats. Yeah. That's a, those are Furions though, right? Yeah, so yeah. that's your low profile, and then you got your 18K chill cube in the main that run, you know, runs off the remote. Seems like a lot of space in the bathroom, too. Also, under the counter space. Still get solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Oh, and this is that pass through you're That's talking it. about. Yep. Oh, so wow. Here's the other side right here. So you get access from Boom. Yeah. the bedroom and the bathroom. That is cold. I like this. Oh. Jackie, you like this? I like this. You like the seat? The seat. <laughs> Not that I would ever sit here too long, but no. it's nice. And then you still have, again, a lot of carry over here in your trash can. You got a place for your Ziplocs or whatever. And then you got your paper towel holder there as well. And this is the so, coffee bar. Where's the dog bowls go? Right here. Oh, you don't have like a pull out thing for this? So, no, these no. actually work off a, a more of a magnet that detaches from the island base. Okay. So, cool. yeah, we were not able to integrate it into the island like we do on our fifth wheels. Um, but yeah, you still get, again, a lot of, we're not dumbing down like your, you know, your drawer box. Sure, so very extra stuff. still dovetail still, drawers. Still and, dovetail. Yep, you still got soft clothes, overhead cabinet doors, and, uh, you know, so again, yeah. a lot of what you see in our traditional fifth wheels, you're going to see on your ZR fifth wheel as well. Very cool. Well, thanks for the tour. Yeah, you bet. Good seeing you. Yeah, yeah. you too. Well, that was fun. <laughs> we spent a full day here. Oh my God, we were like five or six hours <laughs> here. Look at that cool star on the ground. And uh, yeah, so that was fun. Everything's and bigger in Texas. Everything's bigger in Texas, including the RVs, uh, the Brinkley RVs anyway. We didn't yeah. look at anything else. No. We did buy something cool. We bought this uh, cool RV. Thing for our AC for the GEs we're gonna try it and we'll uh, do a quick video on that the install and let you know how it goes but for now it's time to go get something to eat yeah what do you think yes all right we'll see y'all next video bye y'all